You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy. Well, hello there. We are back in the kitchen today with Mayhem in the Kitchen with Mary. And today we are going to do a quick skillet lasagna. And Miss Mary Lee, she gave me this recipe and she said I might want to try it. And so I'm trying it today. What I went ahead and did ahead of time was to brown my hamburger meat and you need about a half a pound of hamburger meat. I browned it and I also used a half a cup of onions, chopped onions. Went ahead and cooked it all together beforehand. And then I added one can of diced tomatoes, one can of tomato paste, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and one and a half cups of water. So after I brown the hamburger meat and I uh, brown the chopped onions together, I went ahead and added these items and went ahead and cooked it for about 25 minutes. I brought it to a boil and then I cooked it for about 25 minutes on the um, low setting. So I let it simmer for about 25 minutes. And then you add spinach. Yes, we're adding spinach again today. And I added about a 10 ounce pack of frozen spinach that I went ahead and cooked ahead of time. So I'm going to add it to my mixture. You want to go ahead and drain the water off of that cooked spinach. And like I said, I cooked this ahead of time. So then I add it to my mixture. Then, while I was cooking my brown meat and getting everything simmered with the tomato sauce and paste and the garlic powder, I went ahead and cooked also my egg noodles. And you're going to need about two cook cups of cooked egg noodles. And I found these at the Dollar Tree. So, you know, all you're going to do is just add them about two cups. And if you like spinach lasagna and you like meat lasagna, you got the good combination of both. So you're gonna add this to your mixture and then you're gonna cook it for about five minutes. You're gonna simmer it together. And that's it, folks. That's all you have to do. I'm gonna go ahead and mix this together get it all good and combined and it gives you that good lasagna smell man it smells so good if I could give you guys a sniff you would say man that smells delicious and it's easy and it can serve about seven folks so you if you have a few or if you have several people over at your house this is a great, 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 easy one skillet dinner. Now they say one skillet, <clears throat> and that is true, but I cooked it, as you can see, in several little pots. And once again, I'm in my home because our centers are closed and we are social distancing right now. So this week, as I have in previous weeks, I am back in my home cooking again favorite place to cook because this is where all your family gets together and I hope all of you are staying safe and if you start feeling bad or not well please go to the doctor and just make sure you take very good care of yourself during this time <clears throat> today starts also um, wearing masks so don't forget your mask we sure do miss you all and we hope you all are well and safe and happy. Now, once I have that all good and combined, here's a quick, oops, we won't even look at that noodle right there that fell. Now, once we get all of this together, because you know, I've told you before, I love cheese. And what's lasagna without cheese? So you're going to just add it in here. And as you're cooking it, you're just going to keep mixing it. It's up to you how much cheese you want to add. 
I love cheese. My family loves cheese. So that is mozzarella cheese. You're going to add it to your taste. So folks, that's easy. Egg noodles, spinach, half a pound of ground beef, a half a cup of chopped onions, all cooked and mixed together, one can of tomato paste, one can of diced tomatoes, mozzarella cheese, one and a half cups of water, and a teaspoon of garlic powder. That's all. Simple, easy, good, and you can even serve it with a little side salad and you have a perfect meal. All right, that's it this week for Mayhem in the Kitchen with Mary. See you next time. Bye!